Okay. Uh, hey everyone, welcome. Uh, we got back from fishing. Uh, we just yep. saw Jaws. Um, yeah. Everyone's seen this. <laughs> so yeah. this is probably going to be a short review. I yeah. mean, it should be. We're, we're a bit low on time, obviously. Because, yep. uh, personal reasons. I, I'll probably say at the end of the video anyway. So, uh, yeah. Uh... This is a classic movie, not really a Halloween type movie. It's more of a, a it, summer it's a movie. Summer Definitely a scare. summer movie. Yeah. But it's um, horror, so we yeah. have to do it's a reboot on it. Yeah. Um, it's also, it could also count as a 4th of July movie, too, because of the setting. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this movie. They yeah. know the story. If you haven't, then you're probably too young. I, I uh,. I would figure about like half of the viewers wouldn't have watched this movie because <laughs> I mean obviously yeah like it depends on your parents age for the most part um, personally I definitely would have seen this but honestly like I, I uh, wasn't huge on Mm -hmm. these types of movies like shark movies and kind of horror movies um but my mother i know i don't know about my father but he probably is uh they're probably uh hardcore jaws fans i think a lot of people are yeah. but um she just grew up in the time like this came out i'm pretty yeah. sure father too i'm pretty sure and uh we also visited the place like recently like a few months ago so it was pretty cool uh, i gotta go on a boat ride to see it but um yeah uh i'm pretty sure this is my like second official time seeing the movie at least and uh yeah you. nothing special i mean i mean the final act is pretty iconic. Yeah, the, yeah. The boat, the final battle with... Well, it's not really a battle, but it's more of a survival kind of... Yeah. With the... Of course, the... The death of the shark is... Mm -hmm. Even though it wouldn't happen like that in real life, but yeah. you know what? It, it's... It's the explosion. The explosions it's are cool. It's a 70s movie, yeah. <laughs> um... So basically, the plot... Um, basically, there's all these teens by a campfire. They're seeing the campfire sound sound. And all of a sudden, this, this guy sees this girl, and he wants, he wants the sex. He wants to do the sex act. So, uh, the girl starts running into the water, and... Do uh, trips and falls. <laughs> how many people will be like... <laughs> um... Yeah, so the girl just goes into the water, and by the time the guy gets there, he's somehow tired after running like 10 feet. Um, he's not very athletic, <laughs> must have asthma. Um, so yeah, the girl's in the water just swimming, and all of a sudden a shark attacks her, and then she dies. And yeah, and basically the chief, the main character, I would assume, um, they're trying to just stop the shark. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, they just see that it was a shark attack. But there's these businessmen who want to. It's the mayor. I think it's the mayor, actually. Mayor. Yikes. <laughs> they want to they wanna keep the beaches open for business. So, so like they, he said, so just people don't go to other towns' beaches because they, yeah. they want all the people to be at the beach. Yeah. It would seem like a politician thing to do. Um, but yeah, they they said it was a uh, boat that killed her, not a shark. Everyone has nothing to worry about. They can come to the beach and swim for the 4th of July, and yada yada. But, uh, and uh, there's like two other deaths that happened since the, then. The boy and, um, the bo yeah, the, yeah, the boy and the guy who was, like, right. with the kids. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everyone, well, not everyone, but this woman who, whose kid died. Is, who looked mad. way too old to have a, a young child. She looked reasonable aged, mm. honestly. 
Like, every woman looked old and had, like, a yeah. five-year-old kid back then. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly. Um, but yeah. Yeah, they, they just got mad, and uh, Matt Hooper just comes in. Who's, like, like the, sh- the expert. Yeah, I'm here to save the day. Yeah, and the there's shark. also Quinn, who is the shark hunter. Yeah. So. Um, they think they caught the shark because all these people are surrounding the shark that... Because there's a huge bounty on the shark, that's why everyone's yeah. trying. It's like $3,000. Yeah. Which I thought was too low. Yeah. <laughs> I guess probably around that time it must have been pretty it big. It really must have been a lot of money. It must have been. But, yeah, so the everyone, the bo- their, a bounty goes up for the to kill or to get the shark. And yeah. so everyone's going after the shark. Some people claim they got it and everyone celebrates and that's the end of the movie. Yeah, the end. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just kidding. It's not actually the shark. They open up its stomach and it's just a bunch of fish and a uh, license plate and um, I think a tin can. That's yeah. like it. So yeah, so they realize that the shark is still out there. So yeah. the shark hunter, the shark expert, and the chief of police gather up in a boat and they go fight the shark themselves. Yep. Because they're manly man. Because mm-hmm. that's what they did. Yeah, they got into they, a, they, a fist uh, fight with the yeah. shark. Yeah, they go, They went in the water and was like, "Hey, bitch, come here. We got we got a nickel sandwich for you." And they uh, started punching the eyeball of the the one eyeball of the shark. And mm. then uh, the movie ended. And, uh, there was a tornado, and all the sharks got in it. And that's how uh, Sharknado got uh, its movie. It takes place. Sharknado takes place after this movie. It's this is the prequel to Sharknado One. Um, which just kidding again. Um, <laughs> no, that's true. yeah, they go on the, they go on the boat ride. They have they they're doing a bunch of strategies to get the shark. Um, but then it starts to escalate when um the the shark expert gets into the cage and then the shark attacks the cage, so he has to swim out and hide. So yeah. then the shark attacks the boat. Um, gets the sh- the shark hunter, and then it's just up to the chief of police versus the shark. Um, he throws, um, a can of pressed air into the shark's mouth, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure you all know what happens. He climbs up, up to the, Beam. the high ground of the, the boat, says, smile, you son of a, shoots the, and the shark explodes. Yeah. Realistic. Very realistic. Yeah. Uh, Hollywood is definitely Yeah, so we talk about the plot, and then we can talk about, like, how we feel about this film. Yeah. Um, it's a classic. Um, yeah, for sure. It's not my favorite movie. Yeah, definitely not. Um, I I feel like it it's kind of dragged out. Yeah. Honest, but it's still great. I'm I'm not if I'm I'm I think everything has a right to criticism, even if you like it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it's kind of it's kind of like the problem with kind of the stuff is when you try to critique something that everyone deems is like perfect, you're kind of seen as like not right. Person who doesn't yeah. like anything. Y- yeah. So, um, that's just my honest criticism. What's that, it, what's the that time Ducky Crow? <laughs> You're being naive. Like, the time does get... A lot of it is pretty boring. Um, it, But it's kind of the suspenseful boring that it's just building up to, like, the shark. Like, there's a lot, like, kind of like in the beginning with all the, the cop-outs of, like, the camera showing different people in the water. Like, oh, is the shark going to get this person? Is he going to get yeah. this? Yeah. It, it, it's it kinda, really was dragged out in the audio sound thing was like really yeah. low like there's no music it's it just when i mean i get that it's a 70s I mean, movie i mean there is the jaws theme though the yeah occasionally pretty- but i was talking about for like that scene with the dog and yeah. the woman who was lying in the water like it should have had some music there shouldn't have had the jaws silence. theme just to build yeah. up the ant- yeah um but yeah, obviously, this movie isn't that perfect. It's good. It's a classic. I still prefer Jura- Jurassic Park over yeah. Jaws, definitely. Yeah. I Those are like the two big... Uh, Spielberg movies? Yeah. For sure. Um, but yeah. Like, I think I would prefer Jurassic Park over this, too. Mm. Um, I think I watched it though once twice not sure but it's definitely a movie we should watch on the channel i mean yeah. i'm sure we have it 
at my house. Yeah, I mean, like I, I, this movie is great. It's, it, it's timeless. It's, it's a, it's a great movie to watch in like the summertime. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, 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 you're a big shark no, fan. October ninth. <laughs> uh, if you're a big shark fan. Yeah. This is probably this. a movie you've seen already. <laughs> yeah. Um. Watch it uh, the eleventh time. Yeah. This is. I think this is actually. The second time I watched, like, it full through. Yeah. The first time I did was, like, years ago when I was, like, a kid. So, it was, was definitely an experience. Because uh, the only parts I... I've only seen, like, parts of it. And the only... Yeah. And the parts I've seen is the most famous part, the, the final. Yeah. The I've, climax. I've with only the, really watched, like, the second half of the movie, yeah. really. Because that's, cause that's when it starts has. to pick up, to be. Yeah. No, I don't think anyone watched, like, the first half of the movie. Like, our age. Yeah. They've only seen, like, a fight scene on YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Um, let's do our favorite characters. So, uh... The shark, obviously. <laughs> the shark is the best. Let's do our top five villains. Uh, number five, the shark. And number four through one, the mayor. <laughs> the mayor is <laughs> the, 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 the mayor his friend his other friend and the friend of his friend and that friend right there yeah those four mm, yeah those fucking business mayor fucking Ted Cruz looking asses come on get out of here with that bullshit yeah I would say I would, I'm definitely a shark person, so, yeah, uh, I think yeah, the shark I is pretty cool. I remember in, uh, we, we were just talking about, like, uh, elementary school. Yeah. Before we started watching the movie, and, like, I remember in elementary school, you were just, that was your favorite animal. Like, whenever yeah. a teacher told us to draw something on a piece of paper, you would draw a shark specifically first, and then draw yeah. your name. And I was like, yeah. okay, you must really like sharks. <laughs> yeah, my, like, it was, my favorite, like, animals growing up were, like, it was like grizzly bears, gorillas, and sharks. Yeah. It was kind of... Mine were snakes, I think, I'm pretty sure. And then I just like, wait, snakes are dis disgusting and stupid and ugly. And then I was like, okay. And uh, they're also <laughs> pretty dangerous. Yeah. I mean, they're cool and all, but not really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like... Probably the my favorite characters were just like the three people who went on the ship. I mean, yeah. the captain. I mean, the yeah. chief. Uh, Quinn, Hooper, all of them. It's like uh, I really like to see movies that uh, have like a group bond to them. Yeah. Um, like I, especially from like it. You know, just yeah, like everyone. The, yeah, it was something like that kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can... Yeah, I like those, but they kind of like, te like a bonding kind of Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, you get some of it. Um, I would say that I do think I, I, I might be in like, like the, the odd one about this, but I think like, I don't think like, I think Quinn... I don't. I think he's the like least likable out of the three for me. Yeah, because he's sure. kind of he's kind of a jerk. I mean, he kind of smashed their radio. Yeah. And he kind of as they kind of. I don't know. I don't know how it works in real life because I'm not a shark hunter or anything. But I just feel like they were just like I don't know, just toying with the shark the whole time instead of like just catching it. Yeah. Or killing it. Like they were just doing like these barrels and stuff. I don't know if that's how they do it in real life, but uh, I, for like kind of like my perspective, it just kind of felt like it was kind of they were just like dragging out or just like yeah. toying with the shark and whatever. They weren't really getting anything done. Um, it's funny because like I always just see Quinn as like my uh, senior year high school teacher for like. Uh, um, history. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it was just <laughs> up in my face all the time. Um, I love him. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
I, I definitely got those vibes from him. Uh, hey, he's a shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a boy, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. What else? I mean, we pretty much said everything, right? Yeah. Um. I guess we do the earnings now. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what we do. I'll yeah. I will give it. Don't forget the dog died, so it has to be below a 5.0. Okay, well, I, I will say my favorite Halloween movie has a dog dying, so I'm not gonna. Then you're a monster who should not live. Okay, but I will be. I will be honest. The the it's not like we're gonna be watching it. Yeah. My favorite Halloween movie. Yeah. Hint. <laughs> yeah, it's it. You literally said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but um. But it's very off screen. Like you only just see like the dog's like legs just like kind of just plop. It's not really anything. So I, it's not yeah. not. If, but if it's like if they showed like like the like a body, then I've been like no no dog. Yeah. But I'll give this. I will give this a, a, a seven out of ten. Yeah, I, w- I would go seven too. Um. It's still a great movie, but it's just you know. Um, the, actually, I will add that I love that the, they you they, for the shark, they used a prop, and they had, like, footage of, like, an actual shark to combine. Yeah. Um, that is something that I miss in horror movies nowadays, is using practical effects. Yeah, That's instead something of CGI I, or something. Yeah, like, nowadays it would be, like, CGI. Yeah. It's all about CGI. Yeah. No, not even trying. Like, you know, with, like... Like, that's kind of, like, what I miss. Like, them having, like, creativity and having fun. Yeah. That's kind of, like, why I love the... Older? The 80s horror movies, yeah. too. Is because when they, like... When they do, like... If they show, like, a kill or, like, a body, they'll, like, make... Like, they'll do, like, makeup or... Or have, like, um... They'll make, like, a... Kind of, like, a prop. Like, it would... Like it had more creativity. Like, heck, back in, like, the 30s, like, King Kong... When they would have Kong grabbing something, it was they would they actually built a giant hand. Yeah. Like, it's like it was it was like movies were more creative, but now you just have guys who live in their parents' basements on a computer making CGI. Yeah. It's not really, and it's and a lot of times with like horror, modern horror, it's not really that good. Yeah. Um. There's one very great exa- few selects. That are one very good, good example is they did a remake prequel of The Thing and The Thing is literally notorious for its amazing practical effects that is that still look great today and um, they were going to do practical because they wanted to homage the original but the studios were like nah uh no. CGI Money. all of it cover Money. and it was so it, it was very bad it looked awful um, that's another mo- movie I had on the poll actually The Thing so yeah, maybe we'll get to it next year. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Maybe. So yeah, that's what else. Yeah, yeah. and I, it's actually also amazing that the shark prop is still, like, like still intact today. That's I, that's what I think is cool too. Yeah. That well, you like can like go shark s- thing. Yeah, like, like you can go way. see, like you can go see it in like I think a museum or something. Wow. Like, I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Like, it's kind of nice that these, like, usually these props would, like, with like wither away and stuff. Yeah. In the time and stuff. So, yeah. That's all I'll say. That's, yeah, that. Practical effects, people. We gotta bring mm-hmm. them back. Bring them yeah. back. Stop CGI. Hashtag stop CGI. Well, let's have some fun with horror movies now. Let's yeah. Stopping it a little bit. Bitch, be fake. Using computer. Idiots. Yup, okay. You just street. Um, yeah, so. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, at this point, uh, Fake Gamers for Boo is nearly over for this year. Uh, so don't be sad, don't are, be sad. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. We definitely are planning more than at least five videos. I don't know. We hope we wanna out. we wanna include. We, we um, wanna get the uh, current the game. S- the yeah the the fake game. yeah we wanna bring in the famous YouTubers the fake gamers club to the yeah. to, to the series. 
want to have him guest star? Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is he? <laughs> yeah, is we want to like get them, two but... Two subs? Yeah. We want to get them in. We yeah. have... We, there is a particular series we want to do. Yes. That is coming out. We want to yeah. We want to have the the other FGC on this, but they're... Uh, they're too... The pussy, the pussy... <laughs>